Hello everyone, welcome back. This is CSEC. Now I'm going to be going through this May June 2022 CSEC Agriculture Paper 2 Pass Paper. All right? Now that I said so guys, make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe. Now this is a single award as I mentioned. If you guys see any ads on the video, make sure you guys do watch it as as appreciation. All right? Before we do further said, let's go into the questions. All right? So here we are seeing we are sector 1. Section 1, I would say, sorry, answers all questions in this section. Write your answers in the spaces provided in this booklet. So here we are seeing that figure 1 is showing the hydroponic system. Alright. So here, hydroponic system are labeled C, A, B. So it's just A, B, C. Alright. Nonetheless, in the figure 1 hydroponic system here, it says name the components in the hydroponic system labeled A and B in figure 1. So they need you to label A here and B. Alright, so A would be the nutrient solution. And the nutrient solution would be the solution that has the nutrients in the hydroponic system. Alright, and B would be the water pump. As you guys could see, this is the pump that carries the nutrient solution to the plants all right so these are just two questions they ask here and um, you just answer you receive two marks for these questions it's very simple all right so the study the diagram guys all right here we are saying it says state the name of the process that take place at part label c in figure one all right so the in figure one here that label C. So what is the C here? All right, look. All right, so we're gonna explain the diagram how it goes. So here we have the water solution with the nutrients, right? The nutrients water solution here, the pump would have pumped the nutrients to the plants and this is where the water here. When the nutrients enter the plants, then we'd have the uh, thing where they had drainage. So we have the waste product. The waste product would came back and reflowed back to the drainage point so here C label here would be the drainage all right so you could either choose another way you could say the drainage or you could choose or you could like drain it doesn't matter it's the same all right let me just go ahead so here we are seeing where it says Shasha live in an apartment complex in the city she wants to grow vegetables at her apartment using the hydroponic system. But the water supply is not reliable. So, reliable simple meaning the water supply is not substan substantial as we in which you need the water to supply the hydroponics. So, they are saying, so just two advantages and one disadvantage is of using the hydroponic system to grow vegetables. So here we are using the hydroponic system to grow vegetables. We would be more um, reliable in a sense we would see it conserves water and it also produce a higher heal and because the hydroponic system is more convenient and it also helps the crops to grow faster because it, it's used more care. All right, so it's not a less care um, method. It's a more care method. So it would have grown the, the crops faster, and it will produce um, higher heal, which is a higher amount of production in the farming of any um, plants or vegetables you are growing. And it also conserves water. Conserves water meaning it saves um, water. Right? Good. Um, a disadvantage is now would be crops are likely to have power outage. All right, and power outage is simple meaning. For example, we have in some type of pumps, we have the pumps to pump the water, and if it's an electric pump, if it doesn't have any electricity, then the, the pump would not been um, useful at that point of time. All yeah, right, so that would be a disadvantages. Here it requires more costs. The, the whole reason why, because we'd have to need more attention and more caring in the sense, and it would cost a lot. All right, good. Here it says the farmers in Linstead Village 
complained to their extension officer that they had been advertising for farm workers but were not successful in obtaining the required number. However, they noticed, they noticed that there was an increase in the youth unemployment in the village. Stay two reasons for the problem outlined in this scenario. So we need to pay keenly attention, guys, to the questions they are asking in the agriculture. Remember to build your vocabulary, alright? So the main idea here in this scenario would be unemployment. Why is unemployment increased in the village? Uh, next thing, advertising for farm workers. Alright, so here the two reasons for the problem outlining the scenario above would be low wages. So they are paying low wages on the farm worker. Um, so that would have been a problem where, you know, if we're having low wages, that simply means most of the times workers were not available because of the wages. It, it's not meeting their necessary needs and that would have um, decreased the employment uh, population. No one wants to work for a less fortunate cost. Alright? And the next thing, no growth or promotion. That would simply mean there's no growth. If you had a work enforcement, we would like to see growth. What is the benefits? What is the outline of the benefits you could receive? All right, so there's no growth, nor near, not neither promotion. So we would have problems here, which would lead to the, um, the increase in, in youths in unemployment in the village. All right, good, we're moving on. Here it says, suggest two possible solution to, the, to address this problem. So the, the suggestion that we'd use to resolve this issue here would have to improve the wages. So it, while we improve the wages, this, this would eliminate the low level of unemployment, engaging more youths into agriculture. All right, show giving the wages is once we give in the good amount of wages, is simple meaning with paying more money, more money for the production in farming, they would have more um, young youths engaging in farming production. All right, another way also is to implement offers such as incentives to attract the youths in agriculture. We, you know, because for example, if we have in agriculture and there is no insensitive to attract the youths like we have in a program agriculture program if you engage into this program you could receive benefits what is the benefits we could say all right then um you know improving the educational wise purposes in agriculture giving money giving any offers that could offers to the youth that could benefit them in a different way where they could see agriculture is very beneficial to them so if there's no implements of any offers or insensitive to attract the youth in agriculture, they would have an uh, increase in unemployment. Alright, so this would be the suggested problems to address the issue. Alright, moving along. Here it says farmers Vic Vikram cultivate tomato. An extension officer advised farmer Vikram that using fertilizer will improve the heal of his tomato. Figure 2 shows the effective of the fertilizer application on the heel of the tomato on Vikram form. Alright. So here it shows the effect of fertilizer application on the heel of tomato. Good. Alright. So it says explain the effect of the use of fertilizer on the eel of tomato at the point A, B on the graph. So here we are seeing we are on the graph here. Let's look on the output and the input. Let me look on the graph and try to outline what's going on here. Just a moment. All right, good. So here, this is the effect of a fertilizer application on the heels of the tomato. So they said here, they says explain the effect of the use of fertilizer on the heel of tomato at the point A and B. So at the point A and B here, look. A 
and B. So here they are talking about the heel. The heel. So on A heel here is the amount of fertilizer that was input that increases or increases the effective and decrease the application input. So here we're going to explain what's going on here. So the answer that I put here was the heel of tomato increase as the amount of fertilizer increase. So this is the amount of fertilizer that we put on the tomato to increase the amount of heel, all right? And the effective would decrease as the application input, all right? We're moving along. For B, it says, I choose the answer where I am mentioning that the heel of the tomato would decrease as the fertilizer applied and the effectiveness would decrease as the application input of the fertilizer. So let's see what's going on here. So has the fertilizer as we as we input the heel of the tomato decrease. As you guys are seeing, the tomato is decreasing. So the heel the production of the tomato would decrease as the fertilizer applied and would decrease the application input of the fertilizer, right? So they are asking two different questions. They are saying you need to explain the effect of the use of the fertilizer on the yield of the tomato at point A and B. All right, good. Moving along. So it says using the information in figure two, advise farmer Vikram of the following. So the maximum yield that can be obtained by adding fertilizer to the tomato crops um, we're going to explain why I get the 200 k kg, which is a kilogram, here. So let's go ahead. So they are asking the maximum that can be obtained. All right, let me see what's going on. So here, this would be the input, right? So that would be 10 kg of the input, the fertilizer input. And this, this is would be the maximum point. The maximum point here would be between the 10 range. The next 10 range, maximum point from 10 range going up, we would have 200. So this is the heels, all right? So this would be 200 kg heels. So that would be the maximum heel that can be obtained when adding the fertilizer to your crop. So we have 200 kg. So that's where I got the answer from. Here they're mentioning that the maximum amount of fertilizer that can be used in this tomato, um, used in his tomato crop would be the 10 kg of fertilizer input. So this would be the 10 right here. All right? Moving along. And those questions are pretty simple. It's not hard. All right, guys? Good. Here in figure 3, it says the diagram, uh, sorry, the graph in figure 2 on page 7 illustrates an economic law that is referred during the production process. So it says state the name of the law in the graph depicts. So the law would be the law of diminution. And the law of diminution would mean in the, the ranges in which we have the production heel as moving as towards the input or the production that we are using to outline um, the economic all right so we could ed either choose either between these two answer where we have in the law of diminishing return or we can use the law of marg marginal all right so you could choose any of those two answers good if there's any answer guys please fe please feel free to leave it in the comment section so I could go ahead and review those um, answers all right good here they says calculate the marginal production when the farmer moves from using four ki kilogram of fertilizer to six kilogram of fertilizer. So they are moving away from four kg to six kg. So here we have the CP, which is the change in product. So the change in product will be 150. All right, and 150 would take away 100 from the 150 here and we have 50 kg and where we have the CI the CI would be the change in input where they are mentioning about the output we could have not have the output because it's not the amount of um, production that we want is amount of production that we put in that we're trying to calculate all right so I'm just going to explain this on the graph for you real fast so let we go ahead and just explain it what's going on all right let me go back so here on point A, 
right we have 150 good all right so here we're gonna outline they wanted let me just illustrate what's the what what's their oxen for so they wanted to see from 4 kg to 6 all right so that's from 4 kg to 6 so from 4 to 6 this is the amount of input it would not be in the output guys I think there's a mistake they made instead of output it should be um, input so it's from 4 to 6 so we have 4 here and we have 6 here right so between 4 right here would have 100 so between 6 here we'd have 150 right so we're gonna um, take away the 100 here from we're gonna take away the 100 from the 150 so we'd have 50 kg all right and which is to see i would be the change in input so the change in input would take away the six let me just go ahead and depict all right so we take away the six which they want here which is the six kg of fertilizer to the four kg of fertilizer that we are changing from so we take away the six from four we get two all right so if we're going to divide the 50 that we have here so 50 divided into two would have 25 kg so this is how we um, calculate the marginal products when the farmer move from 4 kg of fertilizer to 6 kg of fertilizer all right guys moving along there's any um other answers that you have and you wanted any clarifications and in regards to the questions please free to comment in the comment section so i could know how to assist you guys all right anyways we're moving along so sanya is is a poultry farmer she went to agriculture credit bank in her country to obtain a loan Sanya gave her labor record to the loan officer with her loan application the loan officer told Sanya that she needed to present other types of record to help to help him determine if she would qualify for the loan so here they mentioned that we need to state one reason why the labor record alone would not help Sanya to obtain a loan. So here we are looking at the labor record. So the labor record would not give the amount of information that Sanya would need. And the whole reason why, because they will need to show um, a credit, a critical um, bills, or not even bills, but only to showing that she could pay back the loan within the time frame. What she would need, the, the whole reason here, because she would need a collateral to prove that she could pay, repay back the loan. And a collateral would mean the items that she had, like any assets, like for example, you have any farming, like any animals on the farm, any goats, you know what I mean. Or if you have even any assets in your house where you can take the loan off your assets, that is called a collateral. So they use this as in return. If if you doesn't pay the loan, they will seize those assets and use it to repay your loan. So she would need a collateral to prove to repay the loan. We're moving along. All right. So it says such as two other records that Sanya must provide to the loan officer to be considered for a bank loan so for her to consider as a bank for her to consider for a bank loan Sanya would need to provide bank statements and the bank statement would show the amount of cash um, Sanya would have in the account that could give their credibility to show that she is eligible to get the loan all right and another thing she would also need to prove of collateral and the collateral as i mentioned would be the items that she had that she can use as a reference to show that she had um assets where she also eligible to get the loan and another and the next thing she could also have a former form records the former records are showing the amount like for example receipts of the form like the fertilizer she buys and all of those on the form that she use on the form to show that she yes she does farming for you all right moving along all right guys so here we have section two it says write your answers in the space provided in this booklet so we have one recent field trip to an agriculture research station it was explained that the soil profile plays a key role in determining the suitability of an era for agriculture product 
production I would mention. It says figure three represent a typical soil profile area. So here where we have A would be the top soil, all right? So the top soil is the top of the soil that has the nutrients also. Soil S, as we see here, would be the parent rock, all right? Soil A, good. Subsoil is B, showing the R here, and we have the bedrock. So let's see what they're asking for here. They mentioned that we need to state the name of the layer labeled Q and R. All right, guys, so for you to pass agriculture, you need to study the, the soil profile. That would be a one keenly note, guys. Study the soil profile. Study all of the soil profile. Know how to label it correctly and know what's the function of the soils as well. So we have A, which would be the top soil. All right. Um, Good. So that would be the topsoil, guys. And R would be here, which would be the subsoil. So that would be horizon B, horizon A. All right. Good. Moving along. It says, which layer in the soil profile is responsible for influencing the minerals content of the soil? So anything has to do with influencing the mineral of the soil um, that is responsible in regards to the minerals would be the bedrock. All right. So that would be the bedrock. Alright guys, um, I won't be going any further. This would be part one of the agriculture um, 2022 um, paper for, as I mentioned, this would be a review for May slash June 2024, the CSEC that's coming up. Alright guys, so make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't do so. And leave any comment in the comment section and I will be posting part two of um, a few I would say a few minutes after our hour. All right. So, guys, if you do make it to the end of this video, make sure you guys type kudos in the comment section. Feel free to leave your school in the comment section with school you're watching from and which country you're from, also. All right. And thank you guys for watching. Continue your grade and become a reality. Thank you so much.